Marine Scotland scientists sample at fish markets across Scotland. Fish are landed and brought to market. Scientists from Marine Scotland Science work at the fish market extracting samples from fish. 51. These scientists are often seen sampling boxes of fish. This film shows what they are doing and the journey the data goes on when the samples leave the fish market. 47. Teamwork is essential to extract, measure and record data accurately. Getting autoliths out can be messy and fiddly. Autoliths are tiny ear bones found in most bony fish. They can be used to age fish like rings on a tree. 46. Each box of fish being sampled has its own data sheet and each autolith has its own envelope. After sampling, the fish are repacked and go back to market. And the autolith's journey continues on to the Marine Scotland Laboratory in Aberdeen. So we've got the paperwork and the autoliths here. And now we have to mount them. We mount them in sets of five to make reading easier so we remember um, the ages. So we know which category these two are from. So a stroke and on the mount themselves. So we've got haddock first mount and where we start just read in the clockwise direction. We just need one outlet to um, read them. We can use the other one to check. Now we section them across the nucleus which is uh, essentially the center where the outlet starts growing. We just need one half of it. We've now got two sets of five here, so we'll just put them in the mount. We don't put them all the way in because we have to use transmitted light in order to see the rings. So now I am just essentially painting baby oil onto the tops of the autoliths mm -hmm. and this smooths out the surface so we can see the rings more clearly. Now we just age them by looking through the microscope. The light will pass through the autolith, however we don't want the light to be shining on the surface so to prevent that and just use a finger to block the light coming from the left just on the surface but we can still see the light coming through the center of the autolith. So essentially we're counting the winter rings because we're now in May we should have a nearly full winter ring from last winter. A 50 centimeter fish so we just put the four 
on the packet. And move on to the next one. Some can be tricky, take a bit longer. Fish have a universal birthday on the 1st of January. Only the darker rings are counted. The data is collected, typed up and processed. We take the data and we take it to stock assessment working groups where we analyse the fish populations. Uh, we do this by looking at the um, age of the fish that we have and the numbers of them in the catches. Uh, if we take a single cohort of fish, we look at the numbers we have in one year and the numbers we have of that cohort in the next year and we compare the ratios. We get an idea of the mortality that that fish population have been subjected to during the year and that helps us to inform management decisions on how we look after the fish stocks. The mortality can come from a range of sources. Uh, so we have natural mortality and fishing mortality. So natural mortality is things like disease and predation, whereas fishing mortality comes from the fishing vessels. and that's. Uh, the mortality that the fish is subject to varies over the course of the life of the fish. So when it's young it's maybe predated upon more than when it's a big mature cod. And that's why it's important that we get a wide range of samples from across the fleet and from different fishing markets.